Welcome back to Love Island the Game Season 2. We are on day 28. We're getting close to the end. We're gonna finish the season this week. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to the bonus content. I'm so excited about that. Um, this episode, day 28, is called The Last Date. And I'm so excited because this is where we find out if Noah um, loves me and not hope. And he should, because I'm me. You're writing someone an angry letter if she leaves. Who are you gonna write an angry letter to? Fusebox? You should, actually. I wish we could have kept Lottie here if we're on a Gary route, but we can't. This episode is called Mother Knows Best. You're gonna write the president? Okay. It's time to speak to some very special people. You know what, you should write. Write to whoever, because this is kind of janky. I didn't even get to speak to Gary's man in this episode, and she's such an important character. Like, they definitely should have written that in, but I should have been able to speak to his man. Welcome back to the news. Oh, just kidding. It's Love Island, of course. Previously, our couples were plunged into the deep end. Are those babies? Some swam laps around their fellow islanders. I guess I'm just a natural. While others floundered and sank. A fun challenge about a noisy plastic doll is not the right setting to work out your plans for the rest of your whole life. It could be. It could be, Noah. And we said goodbye to Joe and Ibrahimi. I get to know Joe away from the villa now. And I can't wait to see what this big lug is like outside of all of this. Okay, Joe. Sure. But today's a new day, and there's something a little special lined up for our islanders. Nan? Stay tuned. This is so cheap, so cheap, so tacky. Ugh, upset. I'm upset with this episode. Kind of. Princess. Hey, Poppet. What's good? What's crack a lacking, Gary? Oi! It's time to get up. You don't have to oi me. Ah! so rude you didn't have to oi me it's morning babe oh yeah i forgot we went to the hideaway last night you're awake before me yeah i never sleep in i was so comfy i was so comfy if you're going to insist on staying in bed i could always find a way to fill the time i mean doing what you're not you're not talking to me if you're feeling the time Typical, I'm always the first to wake up. Just as this is all coming to an end, I start to sleep in. Gary looks down at you and smiles. Hey, last night was really special. Our first time together felt so right. What do you mean, Gary? This is definitely not our first time together. This is like our 10th time together. This is our like 10th time of it. I'm glad it still feels that special for you, but this definitely was not our first night together. Last night was so mean, it has left me still uh, me still tired. It was great because I was with you. It must be sweet. It was great because I was with you. Aw, you're the sweetest thing at times, Poppet. I'm the sweetest all the time, Gary. Anyway, I think the others are getting up already. I don't care about the others. We should join them. Why? Why? I don't want to join them. You leave the hideaway and make your way back to the bedroom. Boo. Well, look who it is. There's a chorus of wolf whistles and cheers. How's our loved up couple this morning? We're good, Chelsea. Did things go bump in the night? Wouldn't you like to know, Hope? Wouldn't you like to know? The others want to know what me and Gary got up to in the hideaway. We hooked up, use your imaginations. I don't kiss and tell. I don't kiss and tell. I don't want Noah to be jealous. I want him, I want to make sure that he knows that we're together but we're not really together. Hmm, but maybe I do. Gary, we all know that you kiss and tell. We all know you're a blabbermouth, you cannot keep your mouth shut. He looks at you, but I won't. Thank you, I appreciate that. Remember Gary, we're in it for the long haul. Oh, snaps, a hot stream? Yeah, hey Lele, welcome in, how are you? We're playing Love Island, as always, <laughs> our resident game for right now. 
Hope looks around the room. Do you guys remember how packed this place was after Castle Amor? It was kind of gross. It still is gross. There's still me. There's still too many people here. I kept having to pull hair out of the drains. I think that was Chelsea that was doing that. Yeah, yeah, we've gone over that already, mate. Hi, hi. I'm working because I'm at work. Okay. Beautiful. Love that. Love that for us. Thank you for being here, Lele. I appreciate it. I hope work goes well and they treat you good because you deserve it. You deserve to be treated amazingly. You realize that we're now back to the original numbers? It's all coming to an end. So, things in. This is just the way of it. Our time in the villa will be over soon. I'm gonna miss this place. I can't wait to be home. I can't wait. I can't wait to be home. It's gonna be strange not seeing this place as that. I don't want to fill Noah's head with any jealousy twinges, so I didn't want to mention Gary in front of him. Not that that happens. <laughs> it's called using your imagination. I have a very active one. I'm just happy to still be here after yesterday. Girl, I was never going to let you leave. I love you too much. And I plan to make the most of it. Damn right. Just then, Gary's phone beeps. Does anyone else get a sense of dread whenever a phone goes off now? Yep. Especially when it's mine. Go on then. Let's have it. Oh, you're still here. Totally forgot you existed, Bobby. Good morning, Islanders. Hurry up and get ready because there's some special long-distance people... <laughs> Not me stuttering. Long distance people waiting to catch up with you. Hashtag meet the parents. Hashtag it's for you. Is that a carrot? I think that's a finger heart. It just looks like a carrot because it looks so small. <laughs> OMG, what? We're going to be chatting to people back home? Yeah, that's what the text said, Hope. Are you deaf? You want me to sign it for you? Nan? This is amazing. I wish I get to speak to your nan, but they won't let me. Rob? The room buzzes with excitement. Ooh. Rob. Quick, let's hurry and get ready. Who's Rob, Lottie? I know who Rob is. That's her best friend. The energy from the bedroom carries over to the dressing room. I'm so homesick. This is amazing. Tell me about it, babes. I usually talk to my pal Robbie two, maybe three times a week. What? That's more than I talk to anyone, even my parents. But I do go see them often. Not really much of a chance of that when my folks and my mates still live in Oz, babe. Oh yeah. We get to talk to someone from home. I better hurry and get ready. What am I gonna wear today? What says talking to friends? <laughs> This one, this one says talking to friends. You're so good to be a style icon in that outfit, princess. Thanks, Lottie. I can't wait to speak to my best friend. Henrik pops his head around the door, shielding his eyes. You all decent? Yeah, babe. He removes his hand from his face. All right, everyone, it's time to go. There's another cheer of excitement as you all make your way to the beach hut. Are there separate rooms in the beach hut? I've never understood how people are able to do those scenes in the beach hut. They're all going over there, right? Because in the actual series, the show, like, they'll ha everyone will like, have an individual scene or there will be a group of people having that scene. And I don't ever see them doing, like, separate things. Like, having a different room like different rooms for it that's what i mean i'm sorry i'm like stammering stu stuttering this is normal for me this is just me <laughs> but yeah i don't i don't know i don't think they have like different rooms in the beach i think it's just one room it's princess's turn to chat with her bestie but there's also going to be a little surprise in store for her later a giant cake really no nah, just kidding oh i like cake What's your favorite flavor of cake? Mine's birthday cake. I like vanilla. I like lemon. Not, not a chocolate fan. I'll eat chocolate cake, but I'm not gonna enjoy it. Let's go, someone else working. <laughs> yeah, someone else is working. Tons of people are working. I'm working right now. I'm working right now, Ak, how dare you? 
I've kept the cake. It's mine. This time, I'm going to be the one who eats the entire cake. Copycat by myself in the shed. Anyway, where were we? You make your way into the hut and sit in the chair. I'm so excited to talk to my bestie. Here it is. Sup, girl? It's your bestie. I've been watching you every night. It's so weird that you're TV that you're on TV. I hope you're not gonna replace me with Lottie. Chicks want everyone here since they're heart XXX. Terrible texting. I none of my friends text me like that. Thank God. I hate the way that looks. Just talk like a regular person. I'm not a super big cake fan, but I like German chocolate cake or most anything with buttercream frosting. Love that for us. Love that for us. Buttercream frosting is the superior frosting, but if you like whipped frosting, you're weird and you need to have your taste buds removed. That's my bestie, alright. Terrible text and all. I mean, I guess I talked like that when I was like middle school. Because, you know, you only got like a certain amount of characters back then. I think you got like 150 and then you had to send like multiple text messages so you always tried to fit you know all the text in one go but nowadays you can just send like paragraphs of text i love that i always go on sagas so i need that how should i respond i miss you so much how's things back home you and lottie should meet nah i don't need lottie trying to sell my best friend how's things back home Mate, it's been zzzz. I didn't know that you were the life, the life and soul of here. Though a lorry of poo did drop its load onto my estate agents the other day, rolling the floor laughing, XXX. British people text weird. They add, they add like kisses, like hugs and kisses to the end of their text messages. It's so weird. Like it's sweet, but it's weird. Everyone back where was back here was scared when you got with Rococo. Tay thought you'd gone back to your bad boy team you had going. We don't talk about Rococo. He's long gone. But he was fit. OMG, like, I don't want to go too deep, but I let him fix me a smoothie in any day. I'm talking, okay girl, stop. Stop talking. OMG, did you really type that? Apparently. You'd know it. LOL, XXX. I can't believe my bestie was worried about me and Rocco. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't real. I was definitely using him for drama. Though he did mess the girls about. Gary and I are so happy together. That's well obs. You make me jelly. I'm guessing she's saying just kidding or jokes. I think that's what that means. I'm not versed in the lingo. Aw, I have the best bestie. Do I? Because my bestie does not text like this. My bestie's a poet. Like, literally, they went to school for that. <laughs> Gary is dope, though. He had me laughing all the tin. You're so lucky to have found him. He found me. He's lucky to have found me. You have to go, girl. I have to go, girl. I hope you have an amazing time and we gonna have a serious catch up when you're back. Okay. How should I say goodbye to my bestie? Love you. Love you to bits. Kisses. It was so good to talk to my bestie, was it? Another text. Princess, we hope you enjoyed speaking to your bestie. Please stay where you are as there's more people who want to talk to you. Hashtag family matters. Hashtag best behavior. Family matters was a good show. I really like that show. Irrelevant to this conversation, but I'm bringing it up. More people. What if it's Gary's family? Not his man though. I want to speak to his man. Am I ready to talk to them? Oh my god, his man probably hates me. <laughs> I'm thinking about all like the behind the scenes of me and Noah. She's probably watching it like this hussy. Gary's Nan, if you're watching, it's not real between me and Noah. I'm just trying to be evil. Am I ready to talk to them? I'm just getting revenge. What if they hate me? They probably do. <laughs> they probably do of seeing all of my shenanigans. What if they don't like me and Gary being together? Your phone buzzes and pings in your hand. The screen comes on. 
Well, here goes. Hey, Ong Ji, Princess So glad we're able to talk. You may have guessed, but this you may have guessed this, but we're Gary's family. Don't be nervous. We're not going to grill you. Or are we? Joke. We're a family of jokers. You can thank Gary's uncle for that last one. Thank you, Gary's uncle. Wow, they're super friendly. How should I respond? This is a huge surprise. A nice one, we hope. We're looking forward to how Gary reacts to meeting your bestie. We'd love to know that. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. I already hate his uncle. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate his uncle? I don't know if I read that, but you probably did, so. <laughs> it's amazing that the two of you have been together since the beginning. Obs, with the odd break, but you're obviously ended up back together, and that's so good. We loved watching you two during the baby challenge yesterday. You both did great, especially during such a stressy task. We'd have been stumped. Okay, maybe not really as we've had kids. What is this conversation? And Gary really seemed to have come into his own with it. Must have been a relief. We can't imagine what it'd be like to do that with someone like Joe or Hope. Ooh, not the shade. Not the shade. I love his family. Thank you for shading Hope. Hey, people that try to be funny but aren't reminds me too much of myself. <laughs> no, Ack, you're funny. You're funny. I think you're funny. You're a hoot and a half. You're awkward, but you know, aren't we all awkward? Especially me. I'm so awkward. Okay, this might sound intense. We have to ask because Gary is our little darling. But are you serious for the future? Why does she spell serious like that? That's a name. That's someone's name. Oh wow, that is a big question. Looking for sure? Awkward and cringe is my thing. Same. What should I say about my future with Gary? We're in it for the long haul. Yay! That's what we wanted to hear or read, I guess. LOL. You two just seem so good for each other. We are. We are. Looks like our time is up to up though, love. Damn, my time talking to Gary's family's up, but I didn't get to ask them any questions. Should I try and ask them something quickly? Sure. We need to figure something out. Wait! I have a question. Okay, what well, should I ask them? Any embarrassing stories about Gary? Where should me and Gary go on holiday? What would be a good gift for him? You know what? That's a great question. What would be a good gift for Gary? I can tell you the embarrassing story. Um, everybody gets this story. So I think like he was watching, he was sick, he called up work because he was sick, and he ended up like butt dialing his boss while he was sick, and he was watching some weird, weird ass movie. Like I had, like sex scenes and stuff in it, so it's probably very weird. That's what that embarrassing story is. All the guys have that story for some reason. No one's special. What would be a good gift for Gary? Oh, you're such a sweet you're such a sweetie, thank you. I love giving gifts. It's always tough buying him a gift. He's not into lots of flashy things. Not me. I love flashy things. We usually get things like tea, coffee, or a frying pan. You guys are buying him kitchenware? He does not look like he can cook. We hope that helps. It does, that doesn't help at all. That does not help at all. You know what? I'll get him a telescope. Thanks for telling me that. It could be very useful. No, I'll get him a miniature crane. He'd love that. I'll get him a Lego crane set. It's been amazing talking to you, princess. Ooh, I capitalized that with an A. And we're so happy that we see a future with that you see a future with our Gary. We'll have to have you round for a proper Sunday lunch ASAP. How should I say goodbye to Gary's family? I love talking to you, talking to you as an experience. I love a good Sunday lunch. I love talking to you. I'm not gonna tell them I love a good Sunday lunch because what if I don't love their food? I don't want to get excited and then be disappointed. Same, speak again soon, XX, a uh -huh. lot of hearts. What interesting people, did they not have emojis back then? Why are they using emoticons? The other islanders are relaxing on and around the loungers when you approach. Hey, princess. Hi, Bobber. I take it you just finished talking with Gary's family? I was not expecting that. How'd it go for you? It was great. They seem to really like me. 
I saw someone mix drinks in a mini RC concrete mixing truck, and now I want one? Interesting. Interesting. What kind of drinks do you like? What's your favorite kind of drink? I know you like, um, Oktoberfest. Still don't know what that tastes like. Seems like a weird flavor. I think. Whiskey. I don't know if I've had whiskey. I don't think I've liked whiskey. I like vodka. It tastes like heaven, like fall in a bottle. You keep saying that, but that means nothing to me. Great to hear. You look over and see Lottie smiling at you. Looks like you had an all right time. It was a surprise to me talking to them, but they loved me. Of course they loved you, Lottie. Come on. I started out with some jokes and after the first couple, we couldn't stop the bands. Just imagine all the p best parts of fall in a sit. What do you consider the best parts of fall? Because what I consider the best parts of fall, I don't know if you would. So for me, the best parts of fall would be like, if you go out like early in the morning and it's still dark and you get that like spooky feeling like you're being watched, I kind of like that feeling. <laughs> It's like a different experience, like it's different because it's like, ooh, spooky, Halloween, and not, ooh, spooky, I might die. It's two different feelings. Um, and then crunchy leaves, I love crunchy leaves, I love crunching on them leaves. And just like the crisp air is nice, it's nice. And apple picking, and pumpkin picking, and carving jack-o'-lanterns, and Halloween and candy corn and then Thanksgiving I don't really like Thanksgiving I'm not a big Thanksgiving person but Black Friday love me a good Black Friday deal Cyber Monday ooh ooh -wee. but I don't know how you get that into a drink like what does Cyber Monday taste like sweater weather or warm heater and cold evening being spooked Caramel. Um, I don't know about caramel. I don't really like caramel. It's not for me. I thought I liked it. Then I just keep having it. It's like it's it's a no for me. But I'm glad that you love that. The smell of pumpkins. I don't really like the smell of pumpkins. But I do like pumpkin seeds. Like if they're roasted pumpkin seeds, they they're really good. I've become fond of them. You can go in for hours. I probably could too. I probably could also go in for hours. Anyway, <laughs> we went on a little tangent. We had a great chat. I'm glad you had a great chat, Lottie. That's awesome. Has anyone seen Gary? Nope. He could be talking to your family right now. Well, why would he? He should be talking to my best friend. I guess my best friend's family. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna say I guess. My best friend's family. We did homemade roasted pumpkin seeds one year. And now my wife refuses to do it again. Why? Why? They're so good. Especially when you get them out, when you get the flesh out from your little jack-o'-lantern that you're making. It's fun. Because just like, reduce, reuse, recycle, you know? I hope he makes a good impression. I figure if you spend some more time idly chatting to each other. I can't wait. We're going to the pumpkin patch this year going to go pick pumpkins i'm so excited it's this saturday oh my god it's gonna be fun or else or else it's so much work is it i mean i guess it's a little bit of work but it's i feel like it's worth it it's definitely worth it i love how streamlabs is popping off right now thank you streamlabs push a kid and still it's pumpkin no you gotta find the best pumpkin. I usually like small pumpkins because I just think they're cute. I know exactly what face I'm gonna do this year. My faces usually turn out shitty. <laughs> Every few minutes, you look up at the villa door. That's the best part of pumpkin patch though. No! Ak, I'm gonna fight you. We're gonna fight. Where is he? He's been ages. Don't push kids down at the pumpkin patch. A few more minutes passed before he appears from inside the villa. Finally, there he is. Why do you care? 
Why do you care, Lottie? Watch yourself. That's my man. Hey, Poffet. Hi, Gary. Babe! Gary gives you a big hug. Oh, I love this. I love this for us. You spoke to my family then? Of course. Yeah. I'm sorry about how they text. I think autocorrect has given up on them. I mean, they weren't that bad. Honestly, they're not as bad as my bestie. Really? Your friend was fine when we spoke. Fake. Fake. What? Oh, that's my phone. Princess and Gary, please get yourself ready and meet at the front of the villa for your last Love Island date. Hashtag dates all folks. Hashtag put in the effort. Ooh, what are we gonna wear? What are we gonna wear? Our last date? Whoa. Next you're gonna tell me don't steal their candy on Halloween. Don't, I am gonna tell you that. Don't steal their candy on Halloween. Ah, you are a grown man. You have a grown child. Don't steal your, don't steal the candy. No fun. You're, ah, you're a bully. I feel like, have you seen Hocus Pocus? You probably have, cause you're old. But you remember the bullies and they stole candy? That's you. That's you. You're a bully, eh? Exactly, and bigger than them. Exactly, you're supposed to protect them. That is you. I'm glad you agree. I know, I see it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Last one to get ready buys the other one dinner. What do you mean? No one's buying anything. Huh? But it's free. It's safe. You run off to the dressing room. This is my last date with Gary in the villa. Should I wear my clown outfit? If there was a time to really go all out, this is it. Ugh, you guys know I love this clown outfit. That's my wife's fave Halloween movie, of course. Of course it is. My favorite Halloween movie is obviously Coraline, but that's an any time of the year movie for me. I love Twilight. Twilight is free on YouTube with ads right now. The way I'm gonna watch the hell out of that movie. If, I don't know if YouTube will let me stream it, but if you're interested, we can 100% watch that movie together on Discord. What screams final date? This one does. Um, this will do, girl. Don't, don't do that. Don't shit on your outfit. Aw, dating. The blossoming of a new relationship. The belly butterflies burst from their cocoons. Wait, that sounds more like a horror film. Tis the season. Um, meeting the parents? Always a nerve wracking experience. At least that's what I'm told. I've never actually had a chance to do it. Would someone date me already? Me. Me when I was younger. The desperation. I'm so lonely. Um, coming up. Princess and Gary go on their final date in the villa. I feel like this is going to be a short episode for some reason. They've been feeling super long lately, but this one is feeling very short. That is that is perfect for our last one of the summer, isn't it? Will it be? And Gary has a question for her. Ooh. I'm just going to come out and say it. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Don't miss it. Now, ooh, now, where did I put that coupon for the singles extra large tour? Second episode, our last moment. The final date on the island takes you out to sea. She was prepared. Mm, maybe. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know what's inside Axe in my head. Previously, on Love Island. I'm so excited to talk to my bestie. I bet you were, princess. It's been so long since you could. I haven't seen my bestie in years. That's the trouble with living in a shed. She was, lol, she had it all planned from the jump. I mean, the way you tell your story, it, you make it sound like she did. <laughs> no one wants to come over for Sunday brunch. Anyway, coming up, it's the final. No, wait, not the final final. It's the final dates. She's like, I'm gonna feed him and take care of him and then make him rich. I love that for you. I hope you do make it rich. Give me some of your fortunes. Thank you, Song, for dropping the, the, um, the commands. Thank you. I love that. Thank you. 
The jeep drops you and Gary off near the beach for your date. The two of you walk down towards the shore. I don't know why I'm reading weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Gary smiles at you from cheek to cheek. I should drape my arms around his shoulder. I'm gonna be annoying. You wrap your arms around his shoulder and gently hug while watching the ocean. Oh, he didn't find that annoying? Score. Score for me. Gary rests his head on your shoulder. Aw. Perfect. I guess this is it. The final date. He turns to look at you. I can't believe we've made it this far. You both walk closer towards the shore where a boat gently rocks into the shallow water. I can't believe we've been like abroad our entire relationship and this is the first time we've gone to the beach. Oh, that's not true. This is my third time at the beach. This is like your second time at the beach, so. Together though, this is our first time at the beach, but you know, go off, King. Out on the horizon, you can see a table and chairs on a white gazebo. Ooh, I love a good gazebo. It is floating out on the water. Ooh, it's floating in the water. I love that. Me someday, hopefully. Final date? What are you trying to say, Gary? Final date, as in, in terms of the show, but it's not our final date. Obviously. Obviously, song. Beloved song. Oh wow, whoa, that's where a date is then? Well, it's well posh. Yeah, it's for me, and for you, but mostly for me. But that is perfect for our last one of the summer. Glad you agree. We've got to sell this boat out there first. He'd be foolish otherwise. <laughs> exactly, I'm not letting this man leave my side. The cool water laps at your toes as you approach the boat. Want a piggyback ride to the boat? Of course. You don't even need to ask. You can just scoop me up. Carry me bridal style to the boat. Just so you don't get wet. I love that. I love that you're thinking of me, Gary. I love that. Gary offered to carry me onto the boat. How about I carry you? I'm not going to carry him. I could. I feel like I'm strong enough to carry him. But I'm not going to carry him. I'm not afraid of water, babe. I mean, I kind of am afraid of water, but like, in a fun way, not in a scary way. Jump onto his back! You leap onto Gary's back. Whoa! Easy, tiger. You told- you asked me! What do you mean? Steady on. Gary strides through the water towards the boat, holding you securely on his back. If only. I haven't gotten a piggyback ride in years. Comfy back there? Perfect. You reach the boat and Gary lowers you in. The motor whirs as you start to move towards the gazebo. Ooh, it's a motorboat? Ah, uh, yep, it is, it sure is. High school musical Salomon, that's not what that says. HMS Salomon, I don't know who HMS is. Whoa, who's driving that boat? We've really gone all out for this date. I don't know why, but I pictured it not being a motorboat. I pictured it like more of like the rowing kind, but it's not obviously. <laughs> It'll take forever to get to the date spot. Floating gazebo. A self-driven boat. It's like we were saving all the budget for this moment. They better enjoy it. You dock beside the platform, hugging my sick salmon. Love it. We love it. You're so smart, Song. I would have never done that. I would have never came up with that. You're so smart. You're so funny. Love that. Hilarious. Love you. We're on a floating gazebo in the middle of the sea. This is so random. Is it? I feel like it's on theme. Yeah, I've never done anything like this before. It's cute, though. The white satin draped over the gazebo flutters in the wind. A bottle of champagne and two glasses sit in the middle of the table. Where is my margarita? I'm tired of drinking champagne. Please. Let me get your chair. Gary pulls out your chair for you as you sit down. We love to see it. We love to see it because so many times now have these men been fucking up my feet not pulling the chair out correctly. He picks up a bottle of bubbly. Want to drink with bubbles or some water? Bring on the champs. 
I want to pop the bottle. You twist the bottle while holding tightly onto the cork until you hear a satisfying. Got it. You pour the drinks for you both. You're well fit, by the way. Sorry, I know I kind of came out of nowhere, but like, I just notice it every now and again. You should notice it every second, Gary, not every now and again. You should be like, oh my god, I'm with the bestest, prettiest, most gorgeous person on the earth. And I should be thanking whatever higher power that I'm dating them. That's exactly, that's the mindset you should be in for me. I don't care about your other girlies, but for me, that's your that's your mindset, okay? Your fit too, that really was out of nowhere. Oh, cheers, babe. <laughs> Can you imagine his grand bursting into the scene? I object. She should have. You know what, Song, you kind of missed it. So we met his family, met in quotation marks, and his Nan wasn't talking. Maybe it's because she's old. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they didn't give Nan the phone. Because she's old and old people text so slowly. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to put it in the plot hole. That's where we're filling the plot hole with old people. Are his tattoos blueprints? Because I know he likes construction, right? Yes, 100%. I think that is it. I think it is blueprints. So disappointing though. She was so hyped up. She really was. You really, I really thought we were going to get to talk to her when I first played this. But nope. Nope. I meant it though, and they really are. So, like, this is lush, isn't it? Yeah. He looks down at his glass. Mate! It's weird not having the others to bounce off of. He fiddles with his glass. Oh, I've got a question. What do you look for most in a partner? Do I look for in a partner, a gorgeous face and a body, someone who's smart and sensitive, a person that understands loyalty? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that one because we've both been pretty trifling this entire time. Interesting. I agree with that to a point, but ultimately, you've gotta look out for number one. Who's number one, Gary? And why isn't it me? What about you? I don't really have a type specifically. I mean, did you? Did he ask me what my type was? Or did he just ask me what I was looking for in a partner? Because I think that's an entirely different question. Or specifically, as Hope would say, don't bring her up. We don't need to bring her up on our date. She's the last person you should be thinking of. He chuckles to himself as he refills his glass. But I like a girl who's a laugh. We can throw some fun banter around, you know? Sure. I try. I mean, I'm not that funny. Wish I was. I've been told a lot that I'm not that funny. <laughs> I feel like I'm hilarious, though. I'm not really interested in drama. I am. I love drama. There's enough of that in life as there is. I prefer someone who can just roll with it. You know what? Honestly, speaking as me, I do love drama, and that's why I watch reality television, but I don't like drama in my real life. It stresses me out. I'm constantly stressed out all the time every single day you can call him gare bear you yeah i do call him gare bear princess rolls with it the drama that is you're right you're right i'm full of it i'm full of it i'm for it i want it i'm having a great time though this is nice he doesn't get gare bear anymore until he makes me his girlfriend the villa or this date um this date this date is going great that's a little so-so. Oh, is that what we're on? Huh? Oh, that was a joke. He didn't get my joke. He lets off a small, nervous laugh. <laughs> right. This doesn't look good for our relationship, Gary. We should be having this issue. What's happening? What's happening with us? Yes? The two of you sit in silence for a while, looking at the scenery around you. Eventually, Gary speaks again. First dates can be so weird. I mean, is this our first date? I guess? Is this the first
first time we've been alone together. Like, alone alone. I mean, besides, like, in the hideaway. Hmm. But why is it awkward? Why is it awkward now? But I've just thought of a classic joke that always gets rid of the weird awkwardness. Tell, tell me the joke. You should know each other's humor by now. We should. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening, Gary. Why are you so nervous? Go for it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hutch. Hachu. Bless you. Gary lets out a triumphant laugh. <laughs> you know that kind of kind of did get me a little bit. That was one of my dad's favorite jokes. Oh. How do you know that? Did your mom tell you? I could tell. He and my nan will be chuffed that I said it on TV. Will he? You told me he walked out on you. Is your dad alive? What is this? I'm confused. Plot hole. Of course he's a dad jokes guy. He is, and I love that for him. I love dad jokes. Anyway. Yeah, Gary, anyway. Plot hole galore. Gary looks over at the sunset. Who doesn't love a good sunset? I love how solid we've been together. Do you, do you love how solid we've been together? Cause you don't know what I've been doing behind your back. And God knows I don't know what you've been doing behind my back either. But we're gonna keep it that way. That's how we stay strong. Maybe he got two dads? He doesn't though. He has a mom and a grandma and apparently an uncle. So who's to say, who's to say? You know what, he might have two dads. Maybe he considers his uncle his dad in a way, father figure. Gary looks at you and smiles. You've got it going on, you know? What do you mean? If you were a chair, you'd be like one of those ones that has a cup holder and a massage thingy in the back. My dad has one of those chairs. It's kind of, it's kind of nice. Um, what? You're just all around awesome. I know, thank you. I'm glad you think so. Gary's complimenting me. You look great too, Gary. But he's only skin deep. Yeah, you're all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that to Gary. You look great too, Gary. You're so handsome. Gary relaxes back in his chair and grins. Thanks, Poppet. Mm-hmm. But seriously, I mean it though. You're a good egg inside and out. Am I? Why am I an egg? Eggs are stinky, I don't like that. I don't like that analogy. Beautiful, even. And like, I don't mean you've got amazing eyebrows or perfectly painted toes. Though you do. Okay. And obviously, it's totally cool to do those things if they make you feel good. But being beautiful isn't about that. <laughs> nice save, Gary. <laughs> what is it then? It's about what you give back to the world. And how you treat others. I've been treating everyone like shit. Not how you look while you do it. That's really... Mm, sweet, I guess? You're such a sweetheart. Gary smiles at you while he tops up your glasses. We took a big step earlier, did we? We texted each other's family and friends, I suppose. I suppose that's a big step. How did it go with you? We haven't had a chance to chat about that. How do I think my chat with Gary's family went? I think it went very well. It went super well. We really seem to get on. That's so lovely. They're so lovely. Not that. Oh my gosh. Great. You know what this means? A proper family brunch. Oh my gosh. Okay. Smashed avocado, poached eggs, fruit smoothies, some real coffee. You don't like smashed avocado. What do you mean? What are you saying, Gary? You hate avocado. The whole lot. Gary gazes off into the distance while licking his lips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey! You snap your fingers at them. Huh? Oh! Sorry. Do you want to see the messages your bestie sent to me? They're still on my phone. How come you get to keep those messages and I don't get to keep those messages? Should I find out how the chat went? Sure. 
Let's find out. What they say. Gary leans over and shows you their phone. Hi, it's Princess's best friend here. What the hell? <laughs> Why are my besties texting me always so bad? Did I send you these messages? Gary, he, they, king. I don't know, Sog. Did you send me these messages? Did you, are you texting Gary? Are you texting Gary behind my back? I'm joking. I'm joking. It's not, it's not like that. I know. I know what this is. Maybe it's a throwback to how you text each other when you were younger. Anyway, here's my response. Hey, nice to meet you finally. Kiss, 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 kiss. Gary puts kisses to my bestie. You're so cute. Arbitrary emoji would have been better. That's kind of weird, actually. You know, British people just text like that, so it's not weird. But if it was like American texting, I'd be like, that's fucking weird, bro. Why are you sending exes to my best friend? Why are you kissing them? I know they didn't like start with any, but I thought I'd get those friendly feels rolling with the whole exes and O's. They started using kisses afterwards anyway. Look. You're such a clown, Gary. We love you for this. You know my type. If you know me, you know I love me a good clown. There's so much for- Thanks for so- Why did I stutter? Thanks so much for saying that. I really care for princess. I want to text some cursed memes and vague but terrifying threats. <laughs> you mean how we first started talking? When you were just sending me that Jimmy Neutron meme? Okay, then it got a little bit funny. Can't believe you and Gary hooked up on TV. So funny. What do you mean? Why are you texting? I don't understand. Why would my best friend say you and Gary and not you and Princess? Interesting. We hooked up on TV several times, actually. Exactly that. You're just going to send him the Jimmy Neutron meme? You know... That's actually hilarious, so embarrassing. So I'm gonna tell the grandkids. That's exactly what I said. Ha, huh, yeah, lol, something to embarrass the grandkids with. Just keep safe and we'll be cool. What do you mean, just keep safe? What does that mean? That sounds kind of threatening. <laughs> Did Gary handle it well? Yeah, I would say. I'm kidding with embarrassment. Totally forgot they'd see that. I, to I totally forgot they were gonna see all that. Right? I thought that as well. Gary shows you some more texts. Honestly though, I'm so happy for you and Princess. You seem like a keeper. He is. Every time someone says that someone seems like a keeper, I think of that moment from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody where they were talking about Agnes. Uh, I think it was like their mom was like, she's a keeper and then like, what was his name? Zack? Zack was like, yeah, in the basement. And I think about that more than I would like to admit. But every time I hear someone say someone's a keeper, that's that plays in my head, and I can't, I can't, I just have to tell you. I just have to tell you, okay? I have to let you guys know what happens in my head sometimes. Despite all that naughty stuff, Gary blushes a little. So glad we can get over that old thing. It looks like you really got on. Yeah, we really did. I got your bestie's seal of approval, I think. Gary shows another text with lots of hearts, clowns, and dog emojis. Okay, so they, they can send emojis. Why are they? Why am I getting emoticons then? If you can send emojis, I don't want to see emoticons. Give me the emojis. They even sent like clown emojis and stuff. Just because they know that I really like clowns. They must mean they think I'm funny. Sure. Let's say that my best friend sent you clown emojis and they think that you are funny. And not that I have a thing for clowns. That's gotta be a good sign. For sure. Gary smiles at you. I'm actually really glad I got to talk to your bestie. They gave me some good advice about something. So, this is why he spent so much longer texting my bestie. Gary smiles and looks you straight in the eye. I knew what I wanted to say and how I wanted to say it, but I thought that it couldn't hurt to get a second opinion, especially from someone who knows you so well like your bestie. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I wasn't exactly fussed with finding love about finding love when I came on here. I just wanted to play it cool and see where things went. 
He laughs nervously. I never expected that. I never expected what happened this summer. I've fallen for you. Aww. Aww, how cute. We've been so solid through everything. We really haven't, but I'll let you believe that. Okay, here goes. I'd like to make this a proper thing. Gary smiles earnestly. Princess. Gary clears his throat. <clears throat> Would you like to be my girlfriend? I want you to rephrase that question. I want you to rephrase it. I feel like you should say, Princess, will you be my girlfriend? Not, would you like to be my girlfriend? Because that just makes it sound like you're higher than me, and I can't have that. I can't have you thinking that you're higher than me. But yes, I'd love to be your girlfriend. I'd love to be your girlfriend, Gary. Oh my god. I'm Gary Bear. Of course. I'd love to be your girlfriend, Gary. Yes. Gary grows from cheek to cheek. Gary puts his hand across the table. I'm so happy. We're official. Me and Gary are an official couple. Lean in for a kiss. You shift to the edge of your seat and lean towards Gary. Gary tilts his head slightly to the side and closes his eyes. Gary takes off his hand and places it on the table. <laughs> what if? What if he was like, like an amputee and he could do that? I don't know. I'd be kind of weirded out, but I'd also be very fascinated. Like, I would still stay there. I would just be like, why the fuck did you do that? And how long have you been an amputee? That's some really good, some really good work you got there. Who's your person that did that for you? Iconic, but also the timing. <laughs> your lips touch. He kisses you intensely. A few moments later, you settle back onto your chairs, a little dizzy from the thrill of kissing Gary. That was our first kiss as an official couple, oh my gosh. Don't tell me you're one of those people who's like, we gotta do a one month anniversary. Cause I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be intense and then you're not gonna like it and you're gonna wanna stop. So I'm just warning you right now, don't be one of those people. Such a proper, nice place for it. Gary smiles at you blushing. Oh, he's blushing. With the sun slowly setting, the sea breeze starts to pick up. You chilly? A little. Are you gonna give me your shirt? I'll warm you up. Don't damn Jackie me. Don't do that. Gil did that to me. Here's my feeling. Here's my feeling. A human radiator right here. You scoot your chairs and sit close beside each other. The warmth from Gary radiates off him as you rest your head against his shoulder. I don't think we'll ever have, like, such a romantic moment again. Don't say that, Gary. We'll definitely have more romantic moments. Hello, <laughs> love, love damn Jackie. He really did. He was like, I can't control the weather. You should have brought a jacket. Because I refuse, I refuse to bring one. I wanted him to give me his jacket. I wanted him to be cold. He needs to be sacrificed for me. It's so quiet. Yeah, so peaceful. Gary looks at you, biting his lip. While there's no one around... Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe. What are you thinking? I'm just being cheeky. But if you're up for doing some bits, I'm totally down. Of course we're doing bits on the on the gazebo. Do I want to do bits with Gary out here? Of course. Of course, of course, of course. Yes, let's get sexy. He grins mischievously. Rip it in half and share it next time. I don't think... I don't think I can do that. I don't think I'm strong enough to do that. I'll move the stuff out of the way. Not him, not him for real, for real moving everything. Gary pushes the chairs and table aside. He lies down on the platform, you come over to him. He extends his arm to you, you take his hand, and he pulls you on top of him. I can't believe we're doing this. I mean, I can. Gary balances on his elbows while pushing himself up to kiss you. Yeah, out in the middle of the sea. What should I do? Tell Gary to stop talking. <laughs> Splash him with water. 
Take off Gary's clothes and splash him with water. You lean over the side of the platform with a quick flick of your wrist, you splash Gary. Hey! My clothes are all wet now. Good. You better take them off then. Gary quickly slips off his wet clothes. He looks at you, eyebrow raised, a smug smile on his face. He swipes up the sea and splashes you. <gasps> Copycat! Now, I'm not the only one a little wet. The shark in the water, um, this is not what I signed up for. Oh my god, there's a shark? I would definitely stop having sex for a shark. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, look, the way I paused, I was just thinking about, like, a shark. I love sharks. I guess not. I better take mine off then, too. Off, too, then. Mm, words. Quickly, you slip out of your wet clothes. Gary pulls you closer to him, closing the distance between you both. Skin to skin, you kiss Gary gently while rocking your hips against his body. Oh, whoa. The gazebo sways with the momentum of your movements. You roll around the gentle rocking, you roll around to the gentle rocking of the waves. <laughs> shark, no, no, you have your fun. <laughs> I'm out of here. No, Shark, come back. I just want to be friends. Wow. It's not every day you get to do that in the middle of the ocean. Gary leans back against the platform. That was amazing. Glad you enjoyed yourself, Gary. I'm glad you had fun. You huddle closer together and watch the sky fade. Me, though, I was watching the shark. I'm glad you were enjoying yourself, though. This is perfect. The sea laps around the platform. It's a shame it has to end, right? Yeah, it is. All good things do, though. I suppose. Nothing is ever really permanent. With that thought, bad things end too. No matter how much we want it to be. So, we've just gotta enjoy it while we can. Are you worried about the future? Reading out of a self-help self book? Saying you're gonna break up with me? Maybe. I'm not gonna be insecure, though. We're confident. We're a confident woman. Are you worried about the future? No, I'm so excited for our future together. But moments like this are fleeting. One day we'll be arguing about how to load the dishwasher. Domestic life, here we come. We should get that sorted out now, actually. How do you load the dishwasher, Gary? Do you rinse off things or do you just put it in the dishwasher and you let the dishwasher handle that? Do you put your pots and pans in the dishwasher? I really want I really want to know how he loads the dishwasher. I'm curious now. Cuz he might be doing it wrong. Let the dishwasher handle it. Ack, I don't think I could live with you just because you're like that. And yes, of course you put it in, you put in the pots and pans. That's why it has a pots and pans setting. Sometimes you can't trust the dishwasher. The dishwasher sometimes is just evil. Gary's saying things like, we'll never be this romantic again and nothing's ever permanent as soon as you get together ruins the moment. <sighs> Listen, the writers on the Fusebox team, like I think they were fired at, like in the middle of Castle Amor and that's why everything changed. That's why the writing's like this. That's why Gary's not the Gary that we know and love. But it's okay. I love Gary with all his flaws. Gary chuckles. And the bowls can go on the bottom rack. I don't know about I don't know about this. I don't know about this act. You're sounding very wrong to me. I guess I just wish we could replay these moments over and over sometimes. We don't need to replay these moments, Gary. We need to make new ones. We need to create new moments. Gary nods to the boat. We better be getting back. You and Gary board the boat together and sail back to shore. Gary and you settle beside each other on some bean bags. Hey guys! We had this really cute little yacht thing take us around the island. It was so romantic. Why are you happy? You should be happy. How did your date go? Lottie nods towards you and Gary. I saw you guys from our boat. Hope raises her eyebrows at you. Saw you get a little frisky. Why were you watching? Why were you snooping? Mm, 
sounds very weird. Very voyeuristic, Hope. Oops. Hope laughs as Gary and you both blush. I'm not ashamed of it. We did what we had to do. What else did you get up to? Gary smiles at you. Someone popped the question. OMG! Really? We're like a proper thing now. Boyfriend, girlfriend. A proper couple. They sound so proud of this. This is actually very cute. Everyone cheers. Nice one, guys. Listen. Yes, let's talk about the big Q. Did he pop it? Did he not pop it? Speaking of the big Q. The big Q? The big thing we've just been talking about. Being a proper couple. I feel like you should shower immediately after doing it in the ocean, though. I mean, we didn't do it in the ocean. It was more on top of the ocean. Oh, yeah. Duh. Classic Henrik. Hope clears her throat. What's up? Lolly looks over to the kitchen where Noah is making a brew. She lowers her voice. Has Noah popped the question? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Yes, we did it. Okay, I can leave Noah alone now. I did what I needed to do. I came to do what I needed to do and it was done. Noah has officially been played. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, they were on the gazebo. Oh, on top of the ocean like Jesus did. Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't, you know what? We don't know. We don't, we can't speculate about Jesus and what he's done with his many disciples. We don't know what he's done on the ocean. But, um, we were on a gazebo though, which is, was floating in the ocean. So technically we were on top of the ocean. So we weren't in the ocean. There's no... There's no bodily fluids in the ocean. All I'm saying is, if I had that power, I, what? <laughs> what would you do with that power? Please tell. Please tell the class. Honestly, same. Y'all are wrong out here. Henry and Hannah, though. Yeah, I'm not feeling them together. They're kind of annoying. But anyway, back to the most important part is Hope being left single. He just seems to have forgotten about it. Or maybe he's waiting for you to do it. I'm brave about a lot of things, but I just need this one to come from him. I mean, as, as it should, because he's been playing you like a fool this entire time, Hope. And so have I. I wanna know it's what he wants too. It's not what he wants. On the water would be a flex for real. Seek help. Seek help. There's actually nothing wrong with doing the sweeping sometimes. I mean, yeah, we can do the sweeping sometimes. I'm sure he's playing something, hun. He's not. He's playing to ask me. I hope so. Noah hasn't asked Hope out yet. Hope should ask Noah herself. Maybe Noah will pop the question in the final. I hope that's because Noah likes me. Hopefully, he's thinking about me. <laughs> Maybe I'm hoping for too much. You are. You are. Yeah, I used to be the same. Going with the flow is so much easier. Is it? Are you going with the flow? I don't believe you for a second, Hannah. I see you. You're fake. I can't believe that was the last date, like, ever. Not ever, babe. There will be plenty more outside. Just you wait. Where is Chelsea? Where is my girl Chelsea at? I need to tell her that I'm official with Gary. I know, but it's getting so close, isn't it? Yeah, soon there will only be two of us. Everyone looks around at each other. Is that what they mean by Jesus' second coming? Oh my god, the jokes! You wouldn't know. <laughs> You're so sorry. No, it's totally fine. It's actually very funny. I'm sorry, though, if any of you are offended about Jesus maybe getting laid who knows who knows what jesus has done i don't everyone looks around at each other i guess that's the reality of it all soon this will all be over not so fast lottie we've still got some good stuff in store for you do you coming up on love island 
the girls go bird watching. Oh my god, this is one of the worst episodes. Your beak is so big and hard, Garrett. Wait, there's more? Yeah, we gotta finish the episode up. And the Islanders get reunion planning. I felt like a final or finale. It wasn't. It wasn't. We still got... This is day 28. We still have one more day and then the last day, which is... I th we'll def We're definitely finishing this game this week and then doing the... Um, What's it called? The bonus content in the following two weeks. Can we host it somewhere like Mars or something? Henrik, shut up. Don't think we've got the budget for that, Henrik. But you never know. We are on the last episode of day 28. We're almost there, guys. We're almost at the finale. Who's going to win? And why is it me? Was hoping for a sexy SpongeBob? No. Stop this act. Stop this. Seek, seek Jesus. Streamlabs always so quiet and it says everything at once. It does. I don't know why it does that. Like I think I do. I don't know how to set it up where it doesn't do that. I've tried fixing the settings for Streamlabs, but I think it just doesn't like me. And that's okay. We can hate each other mutually. They save in that for Valentine's Day. A sexy SpongeBob ads. Seek in on the ocean. No. Ack. <laughs> Do not seek Jesus out on the ocean. I know I know what you're trying to say, you little weirdo. You're at work? Oh my gosh, Lune. Welcome in for one. Hi, how are you? Glad to see you. That means you're probably lurking, which I am totally okay with. I'm totally okay with. Have, have an awesome lurk if you are lurking. If you're not, what's good? What's good, family? Lamb? Because hard smash, stop, stop. Stop. I'm I'm sending you I'm sending you to the dungeon. Good has been busy? Ooh. Must have been busy. Birds set free. Our islanders are talking birdie. You better get pecking. This episode is so fucking stupid. So stupid. I wish I could off break. My sickle is ass here. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. I still appreciate you being here either way. As I do all of you. Previously on Love Island, we had the final dates of the show. And Princess and Gary made it official. Woo! We're a proper couple. Coming up, the Islanders start planning for their reunion party. I bet at least one of us will have bought a dog together. What an, what an odd thing to say, Hannah. And everyone starts chirp, chirpsing and talking birdie. I put a nest with you any day. Okay, Gary. Okay. You hear a heavy sigh as you walk past Chelsea lounging on a daybed. Chelsea, are you alright? Yeah, where the fuck have you been, Chelsea? I was looking for you. She sighs again. Meh. What's the matter? Honestly? She wildly gestures to the villa. You know what? Fat ass me, Chelsea. Fat ass move. This is all coming to an end. Never mind. That's not that's not how I feel. I'm glad this is coming to an end. Chelsea's worried about our time ending in the villa. Everything has to end at some point. I'm kind of excited to go home. You know what? I'm I'm excited to go home. Really? I started to see this place like a second home. Ma'am, you don't live in Spain. You have a traveler's visa. It'll be weird, like, not hanging out all the time. We had a big truck come in for meds and people are running around like crazy. I'm liking farm tech though. Oh, are you doing pharmacy tech? Let me know. I could definitely send you my stuff that I have for pharmacy tech. If you want it, you don't have to take it. You can always be like, I'm good. But I do have stuff for pharmacy tech because I did pharmacy tech kind of for a little bit. I was going to school to do it a little bit. And then life happened. And I just like, yeah, you know what? No, not for me. It'll be weird, like, not hanging out all the time. I'm gonna miss in-depth chats about every detail of everyone's love life. Chelsea's going to, Chelsea says she's going to miss our chats. A stretch and a hydrate? Okay. 
we do have good chats we can still talk about love back home we can still talk about love back home i'm gonna hydrate and then i'm gonna stretch it won't be the same though nothing good nothing good nothing could compare with this took sip she smiles i love it if we could do this on the outside princess be paid to find love no silly i wish we could live with each other and just like hang out all day girl no <laughs> no I did stretch, I did drink, I did little run. Don't worry about the little run. But I did, I did do. Getting paid to find love, that is a job. I mean, there's matchmakers. Chelsea flirting with you? What if? Nah, Chelsea's straight. But, yeah, yeah, she's straight. Priya isn't though. If you were curious, Priya's not straight. Oh, actually, I'm gonna stop there with that thought. You know what? You know what, Ak? I'm sending- uh, you're in jail. You're in baby jail right now. Wait, I hear Wino and you write, you write. What? What's Wino? But what if? What if? I mean, I definitely wouldn't date Chelsea. <laughs> like, if she was an option, I would not date her. She's a little- she's a little bit too much for me. And like, I'm a lot. Like, I'm already a lot, and if I add Chelsea into that, we're both gonna be a lot, and it's gonna be very chaotic for everyone. What if lesbians? I mean, you can date Marisol. Why do that? I didn't need to do that. I need to do this. You can date Marisol, but you know, she's gone. Too late to go back. The planet would explode. It would. It'd just be too much. It'd be too much for everyone. No, silly. I wish we could live with each other and, like, just hang out all day. That sounds like total chaos. Anything worth doing takes a little bit of chaos. You get a pug and teach him how to teach him to bark when it's gin o'clock so he never forget. Chelsea, darling, I really need you to go to Alcoholics Anonymous. I need you to get help. You have a problem. And we'll get a nice rug to do our morning yoga on. We can also split the cost of our new rug. She's, she's doing the most. Who is Wino? You. Oh. 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 Okay. It's Wino or I'll cry. A problem that sounds like she has a solution. This is a big. This is big brain moves. I could not live with Chelsea. I. I would go insane. I would. Cause Chelsea's loud, and I'm not that loud. I'm not that loud. Like I don't. I can be. I'm very quiet <laughs> most of the time. We know is like Winnie Placino, which was my goal. Weenie? Is that what that says? Did I read that wrong at first? What the hell is happening here? Okay, I'm gonna continue the game. <laughs> you guys are having a conversation. I'm sorry. I was reading it. I was like, huh? What's happening? You know, continue your conversation. I'm gonna continue the game. Chelsea wants to buy a pug and a rug for her house. Sure, every home needs a pug and a rug. What is it like being an interior designer? I'm not really a fan of decorating. What's it like being an interior designer, Chelsea? Let's, let's enter your mind for a little bit. It is Sano, by the way, princess. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know your name, Lune. I know it's Sano. I took Spanish. I failed it twice, but I took it. I know some things. It's pretty awesome. I get to play with cushions and color all day. My goal is always to try and make every room in a person's home worth living for. For example, I have an infinite collection of super cute mugs of gin. What? What is a mug of gin? What? What? 
Huh? I'm confused. I hope you know, princess, that you're like such an extraordinary friend to me. Aw, thanks, Chauncey. You're totally one of a kind. Aw, thanks, Chauncey. I can't wait to share all my mugs with you. Okay, sure, I'll take a mug. Super handshake for good luck? Go for it. You clap, twist, you clap, slap, twist, and turn in perfect rhythm. Yeah, we have a super handshake, by the way. We made it last episode, I think. I think. We got so good at that. By the way, how are you and Gary doing? This is why I came over to tell you, Chelsea. Me and Gary are official. Now that you're official, well, how did you know that? I didn't even tell you. You weren't even over there with us when I told everybody. Where the hell were you, Chelsea? I needed, I needed you. Things are going great, I'm having doubts. I can't wait for our future. That's so cute. I'm excited for you two. Can you play this game in a way that makes Chelsea hate you? Or is that not that deep? Chelsea in the walls. Um, I mean, you can kind of. Yeah, a little bit. You can just be super mean to Chelsea all the time. And eventually she'll just be like, mm, Yeah, I'm not feeling you that much. I was in there too and saw her. Where? Where did you see her? Wait. You mean in the walls? <laughs> you saw her in the walls? That's so cute. I'm excited for you two. You deserve it all. Have you seen Gary? I think I saw him around earlier. Yeah. Want to go and hang with the others by the pool? Not really. Well, we still can. I think I'd rather go to bed, if I'm being honest. You and Chelsea walk over to the others. Some birds are jumping around at the pool edge. Hey, guys. All right, you two? Gary smiles at you. Where? Where is he? Because that looks like a Henrik. Looks like Henrik. I get that they're both blonde. But they are not the same. They do not look the same. I have facial blindness and I can still tell they are two different people. What's up? We were all getting... We were just getting all teary and about it nearly being the final. I mean, I wasn't. I want to go home. Just feeling a bit sad about it all ending. Chelsea yawns and leans against Lottie's shoulder. I'm also, like, super tired. I feel that. Me too. I wish I had as much energy as those birds. Bobby points to a group of finches as they fly up to a nearby tree. You don't want to be a bird, huh? Bird life is tough. Lottie points at one of the finches. If he could talk... They'd be like, you think you've got it hard being a human? It's all worms and dirt and sticks for me. You guys should sign the Love Island equivalent of a yearbook. I mean, I guess that'd be kind of cute. Yeah, like a little postcard. Oh, flapping day. Nah, being a bird would be like amazing. Her mate would be like, but bro, what about the chicks? And like, not to mention, we can fly. Lottie rolls her eyes. Whoa, typical birdie talk, Garrett. Garrett? She's so obsessed with Gary. Like, she's even saying Garrett, she's giving, she's so obsessed with him. She's naming a bird after him. And she's not even with him. Yeah, Garrett. That's its name. I bet you don't talk like that around your fiance, do you? Oh god, cringe Lottie, <laughs> exactly. Lottie is cringe, I do love her though. Gareth the bird has a fiance? Yeah, he gets off recently engaged Gareth vibes. Bobby laughs. That's me, recently hitched. Did you get my congratulations stick? I left it by your nest. Lottie is the best, is she? Is she the best? I think you're just biased because you like toxic women. Lottie's looks like a Lola. Oh, yes. Strong name. No one messes with Lola. Lola it is. The other finch flies towards them. My name is... Burb, Brian, Baby Cakes, Bianca, Big Daddy. Big Daddy is a reference to Lucas, by the way. It's like, it was in like a promotional thing like a while ago because this game came out in like 2000 I want to say 2019 was when this season was released 
so yeah it was around that time when they were doing like promotional stuff and lucas's nickname is big daddy that's all that's all you need to know it is i big daddy yes toxic is my fave trait no her fashions are great but i will just steal them and move on not you raiding her closet and then breaking up with her I stand that name. I had a friend and I called her Baby Cakes. I don't have her number anymore, but we like talk sometimes. I mean, I guess I'd still consider her Baby Cakes. She's she's a good person. Yeah, it's cute and funky. Big Daddy and Lola fly down to the Sun Lounger. That's a pretty flower you got there, Gareth. Thanks, I picked it myself. Lola and Big Daddy quickly flap away from Gareth, who is still carrying the flower. Whoa, Gareth got rejected. Hilarious how those two keep wandering off, but Gareth just keeps chasing them down with his flower. Third will vibes. Yeah, you better watch out for my flower. Lola's trying to chat with Big Daddy and Gareth just keeps coming in, chirpsing. What the hell is happening? What should Big Daddy say to Gareth? Do you want to get down and dirty? I'm sure we can put that big stick to good use. Oh my gosh. Lottie explodes into laughter. Didn't expect bird RP in the home stretch of this series. Yeah, it got it got weird. It really got weird. You quack me up, Big Daddy. Why would you say quack? You're not even that type of bird. Hey, that's not right. Quacking is a duck thing. See, I don't like Bobby, but we're on the same page. Yeah, and ducks are birds. It works. Sure, Lottie. Come on, Gareth. Quit changing the subject. My roost is ready for you. Gareth the bird gets a little bit of water on his feathers and starts to flap his wings frantically. All right, all right. Calm it, Gareth. Yeah. Don't get it in a flap. He flies over away from Lola and Big Daddy. He seems upset, Lola. They both hop after him. Looks like we're gonna follow him now. I'm okay, guys. I'm not a bluebird. I'm just feeling a little confused. Did you accidentally marry your sister? What? That happened to one of my other bird friends. These birds are adorable though, and they're alright. I'm not a bird person. I'm actually the least amount of bird person there is. I do not like birds. But I like that you like birds, and I respect that. What, lol? Are you asking about what's happening in this game? Because I sure as fuck don't know. Cute arts? I mean, sure, sure, I'll give them none. It's kill, it's kill. The toads found out that they were separated at birth when their nests fall out of the tree? Interesting. Um, no, we're definitely not related. Are you getting cold claws about the marriage? A little. Gareth picks up the flower again. Uh-oh, the flower is back. Flower power to ward off Becky. Who the hell is Becky? Yeah, Becky never liked my flower. If Becky's not what you want in your short bird life, then you shouldn't put up with it. Especially if she hates your flower. You're right. I need to move on. I need to let go of my flower. I don't think that was what they meant, but go off. It's I'm very simple. In my bird life, I just want a nice big worm and some sticks, you know? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yeah, like I said, this is one of the worst episodes. <laughs> Standard bird stuff. I always wanted to be a clown, like, in the circus. You can crack a joke on me any day, Gareth. Both finches hop over around Big Daddy. What do you want to do in your life, Big Daddy? What do I want to do in my bird life? Do bits. Dirty birdie, Big Daddy. If that's your dream, then you should go for it, Big Daddy. Yeah. Don't let what other people think stop you. Becky never wanted me to be a clown. What the hell? No bird has ever been a clown, she used to chirp at me. You know what? 
I used to skip this dialogue every time I would replay the game because it was just stupid. I haven't read this in a while and I'm like, what the fuck is this conversation? All she wanted was for me to stay at home and watch the eggs while she went off around the world. Poor Garrett. It's not all bad. I love the eggs. And when she's away, I try out jokes in them, like, through the shells. <laughs> Sometimes I swear I can hear the tiny tweets of laughter. But I'd love to perform in front of a flock of birds one day. Once the eggs are older. Becky never wanted Garrett to do what he wanted to do. We should leave Becky. You think? It's clear she isn't thinking about you, Gareth. I think you should bye-bye Becky. Oh, look, bye-bye Birdie? Interesting. Yeah, she sounds like a right sort. How long was she controlling you like that, Bobby? That sounds like such a toxic relationship. Bobby and Lottie laugh. You know we're still doing the bird thing, Chelsea. Oh, right. Yeah. Chelsea yawns. Girl, it's okay. You are completely valid for being confused. I was drifting in and out of your combo. <laughs> Same, Chelsea. Half of me was thinking like, how did I not notice a new girl called Becky? And half thinking, why wasn't I asked to go to Aya Napa? Nah, I don't really have a controlling fiance called Becky. Cause it'd be weird if you did, Bobby. Cause why the hell are you on Love Island if you have a fiance? But who knows what those birds get up to when we're not watching? Who cares? Who cares? They're birds. They're living their best life. They're living their less bird life. Flying away, having babies, making nests, eating worms. All the things Lottie said. The three birds fly away from the group together. The money? I mean, valid. The only reason I would go on Love, <laughs> Love Island. The only reason I would go on any type of show is for the money. That will be us soon, guys. And unhappy marriages? No! We'll all be flying the nest and moving on from here. Thank God. That's what you were upset about, wasn't it, huh? Yeah. How about you guys? How do you feel about it? I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. How do I feel about everything ending? Really excited for whatever comes next. I'm going to miss you so much. Honestly, I miss my own bed. Yeah, I miss having my own kitchen, to be honest, and like, cooking for myself with food I've bought. Can't wait to roast myself a nice sweet potato. Okay, enjoy that sweet potato, Bobby. You guys are so random. How? You asked us, we gave you an answer. You're just a hater, Lottie. You're just a hater, okay? We'll get loads of chances to hang out after this, guys. Will we? Because I don't think I want to. Yeah, there will be so many parties and stuff. I will not be attending. You can check me off as no, do not want to go. Good shout. Everyone heads over to the kitchen. Lottie, you were just part of the lol random bird RP. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it either. You're right. Hannah's pouring some water from the kettle into a mug. Bobby peers over. What are you making? Hot chocolate. With water from a kettle? Don't you boil the milk, the milk first? No. That's a crime. Milk is a crime against the world, Bobby. Yeah, and besides, boiling the milk takes forever and you get that horrible weird skin on top. <sighs> I've stopped eating cheese lately. I'm so sad, because I love cheese, but cheese does not love me. I would love hot chocolate made with milk. And I can do that. I can have like lactose free milk. And I will. I definitely do have it. But it's not the same. It's not the same because everybody makes everything with real milk now. And I'd have to request like to be made with something else. I don't know. I'm just sad about me not being able to eat regular milk. Not regular milk. Regular cheese. All the dairy products. I can't have it. It's, it's rough. Because who's going to make my pizza the way I want it? They don't have the right cheese. But ice cream places don't have the right ice cream. It's rough out here. 
it's rough out here having body issues. <laughs> yeah, besides, yeah, I read that. And it literally tastes the same. I would rather just die than stop eating cheese. Listen, they have some cheeses that are lactose free and they, they don't taste bad at all. Like Daya, I really like Daya's um, cheese. My mom made mac and cheese with it one year and she was like, this tastes gross. But I thought it tasted good. I was like, I don't taste the difference at all. But that's just me. I bought some. So I'm gonna get a toaster. This is toaster that I want, it's so fucking cute. But I'm gonna get a toaster, I'm gonna make me a bagel, and I'm gonna use the cheese, and then my tummy's not gonna hurt, and I'm gonna be happy. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> I t I'm totally going to disagree with you there, Becky. Not her calling her Becky. Not him calling her Becky. Lottie laughs, Hannah sips some of her watery hot chocolate, looking at Bobby suspiciously through the steam. Who the hell is Becky? Oh. Just my ex bird. Hannah looks at Lottie, eyes wide. Noah comes around the corner. Did someone say new birds? Hannah slams her mug down. New girls? But it's so close to the final. They think there are new girls in the villa. Yeah, and I heard Becky liked Henrik. We shouldn't refer to girls as poultry. We're doing voiceovers. You should not refer to girls as poultry. Noah blushes. Oops, sorry princess. You should be, you should be sorry. Yeah, none of you should be referring to your girl as a bird anyway. Unless you want me to refer to you as a fish. And you know there are plenty of fish in the sea. Okay, okay Lottie. Sorry, what is going on? Great question Hope, wish I knew. We were just pretending to be birds outside. We were doing voiceovers and stuff. That's hilarious. It really wasn't. Yeah, it was a laugh. It sure was not a laugh. I was not having a hoot holler and a half. It was the bird fact. It was the bird fic distraction I needed to not be thinking about the final. That was so rough for me to read. Damn it. I'm thinking about it again. Bobby looks a little crestfallen. Hope claps her hands. Let's not get sad now, guys. Do you know what I always do when I'm sad? Complain to me about your problems. That's what you do. I party plan. You've not done that a single time you've been here. That would give us something to look forward to. Of course you do, babes. You're such a planner. Gary comes down into the kitchen. He turns on the tap and fills up his water bottle. Gary! What's going, what's going down? Party plans. He abruptly slaps down his water bottle and spins to face you all. What? What's going on today? You've read my mind. Why is everybody so excited about this? We need a real world party planned for sure. Do we? Yes, we have got to do a party. I don't, I feel like we don't. Great excuse for you to all meet the fam. You're gonna bring your entire family to the party. You might as well just have a family reunion. You might as well just do that and then invite us. Gary Smalls wrapping your arm around your waist. A lot of slamming, <laughs> exactly. It's very loud here now. My Nana's gonna love you. I hope she does. I hope she hasn't been watching the parts where I've been snaking hope. <laughs> she might not love me then. And I so wanna be able to like show you all off as the best mates ever. Oh, mate, come here. Bobby gives Gary a massive bear hug. You know you're a proper gold. You know your proper goal you are. All of you. I mean, maybe maybe some of us aren't gold. Maybe some of us are platinum. Maybe. Gary Small is sipping his drink. He's sipping his water? Who sips water like that? Great stuff. Where should we have it? At the villa? Or like, on a beach somewhere? Where would I like to have the party? At home. Henrik smiles at you. Oh yeah, let's bring the party home. Not my home. You guys are not invited to my home. But it can be at one of your houses. I'll definitely trash it. Okay, so we'll do it at a home. You know what else we need? What? A theme! Oh yeah! We need a decent theme. 
like a 20s Gatsby party thing. Lottie laughs. Been there, done that. Oh, come on then, Miss Super Duper Original. What would you pick? I'm thinking, huh? Princess, help me out here. Girl, don't, don't put me into this. What about you, princess? What about me? I don't care about this party I'm not going to. Where, what should our theme be? Spooky Midnight Ball? It's just Spooky Midnight Ball. You totally read my mind, princess. If I did, why didn't you just fucking say what you wanted to do, Lottie? Why are you trying to rope me into your bullshit? Every now and again, we'll do a spirit summoning and a dance with the lost soul. Okay. Okay, Haunted Mansion Queen. I imagine his nan lives for drama and is a sassy queen. Maybe wears shades and a feather bow and smokes a pipe. See, I wasn't imagining that, but I could see I could see her being sassy. I don't know where you're getting this feather boa and a pipe and shades from. Are you getting like the old ladies in like the 20s or something? And I'll do readings in a little one-wheeled caravan adorned with swords and pentacles. Ooh, swords and pentacles? Interesting. Interesting that you pick swords with pentacles. Whoa, okay. You really thought about that. You really thought that through. It's what it's like in my mind most of the time. Whatever we do, I'm totally up for it. I just think it would be like that because your dynamic would be fun. Ooh, okay. Relatable Lottie. Yeah, I mean, the party sounds cool and everything. And you know what? I feel like Gary's Nan would like me. Because I feel like she really does live for the drama. She doesn't like these other fake hoes. I've been up front from the beginning that I like Gary. And I feel like if we did beach beach hut scenes, I would definitely be telling everyone that I'm trying to break up Nope and Hoa. <laughs> nope and Hoa. <laughs> Hope and Noah. Oh my gosh. People are rooting for me. I know they are. They wanted me to break this couple up because she disrespected me. Me too. The whole lot. It won't just be a regular party. It'll be like a party to celebrate an era. Imagine if it hadn't been us, Lot. Nope and ho. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. <laughs> like, at so many points, any one of us could have gone. Or they could have sent different people in here. Or... Gary looks at you. His eyes shine. His eyes shine. Wow. His eyes shine a little under the kitchen light. Is he about to cry? Are you gonna cry, Gary? Don't do that. You're gonna, or do that. Do what feels right, Gary. If you're gonna cry, cry. I'll hug, I'll hug you. I guess I'm just trying to say that I'm glad I ended up with you lot in here. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, you guys. Lottie sniffs sharply and wipes her eyes. This. She gestures to the group. I'll miss this. I won't find people like you guys out there. You've totally changed me for the better. I don't want things to change. I'm really gonna miss all this. Oh, hun. Chelsea drapes her arm around Lottie's shoulder and gives her a friendly squeeze. This will always have happened. We'll always have these moments. Nothing can change that. Bobby takes a big gulp from his water bottle. Yeah, you're not getting rid of us that easy. Bobby sighs heavily. I'm glad it's not just me feeling emotional. Chelsea hugs Bobby to comfort him. It's all right, Bella. I need a hug too. Mm, no. Group hug, guys? No. Yes, no. Group hug, no. I thought you'd never ask. It was literally you. It was literally you, Henrik. Should I join with the group? No, I'm okay. You smile and watch as the other islanders hug each other in a tight squeeze. Everyone smiles past the tears. A tap drips. Someone sniffles a little. It's me sniffling because I'm ready to go home. I'm crying because I'm bored. I love you guys. You're in the dressing room rummaging for your pajamas. I swear I left them somewhere in here. There they are. I'm just gonna wear these. You haven't seen me in these in a bit. 
You sniffling because you caught a cold from that chilly ocean? <laughs> I didn't catch a cold. We were not in the ocean. We were on top of the ocean. These will do. There's a gentle knock at the door. Hey, is everyone decent? Ooh. Ooh. Is it safe to come in? Yeah, it's just me. Who's me? Girl, you don't don't pretend. Don't pretend, Noah. I'm sure even on top is still not the best. Listen, we were safe, we were protected. That shark blessed us. Noah peeps his head around the corner. Around the door, not the corner. He blushes immediately. Princess. He shuffles into the dressing room, closing the door quietly behind him. Don't do this. Don't do this, Noah. Don't do this. I was just gonna get a breath of air on the roof terrace. You could come and join me if you wanted. So I wanna join Noah out on the roof terrace. I'm gonna let you guys vote. I'm gonna let you guys vote for this. I'm gonna put up a poll. How do I put up a poll? I gotta figure it out. Here it is. Poll. Create new poll. Terrace Noah. Yes. No. Um, duration one minute. Let's go. I want to know what you guys think. Should we do this? Should we do this scene or should we not do this scene? I have to say, I never had a shark bless it, so I will trust your judgment. Thank you. Thank you for trusting my judgment about sharks. You were chilly before the water and then you get soaked from the splash and you sniffle and sneeze in. As a person who channeled the shark's spirit into this experience, I can confirm that it didn't bless shit. <laughs> Why would you say this to me? Why don't you want the shark to bless me? love sharks i you know what i'm gonna say that that shark blessed me i know you channeled it but like i feel deep in my heart that that shark blessed me so vote in the poll <laughs> yes no roof terrace noah view results what are the results yes okay <laughs> Guess we're going on the roof terrace with Noah. Looking on the bright side, it's what I like about you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, of course, let's go. Sweet. Let's go. Should I break up with him? Should I break his little heart? Noah leads you up to the roof terrace. Nothing better than a good clear sky. He gestures up to the sky. It's so clear you can even see little satellites moving, can you? Can you see them moving? Is your vision that good? You look like you wear glasses, I don't trust you. I used to think that they were actual stars that could move around. Did you know the really bright stars are actually planets? The more you know, the more you know, it's the truth. And I used to worry that when I would became a star in the sky after my life ended, I would be one of those that just stayed in the same place all the time. Oh, this is depressing. <laughs> this is depressing, buddy. Don't make this even more depressing than it needs to be. Noah thought he'd turn into a star in the sky really random to look cute. Exactly what I thought? That's cute. It's not what I thought. I mean, we might. We might turn into stars. I don't know what happens, really. I've only experienced death, like, once. So. I definitely wasn't a star. But I did see a light. I did see a light. Thanks, princess. Mm -hmm. Anytime, Noah. I read in a book somewhere that we became stars and thought it was cool. See what reading gets you? Ideas. Stop it. Don't read. So I kind of convinced myself that what was... So I kind of convinced myself that was what happened to us. You see what happens when you don't read? You start stuttering. Read a book. I used to read all the time, actually. <laughs> He smiles. You're definitely made of stardust. Aww, thank you. You're probably made of, like, shit or something. You think I'm made of stardust? 
well we kind of all are that's such, such a sweet thing to say wow it's a line it's such a it is a line that is a line he's trying to woo me i'm sorry i can't be wooed i just wanted you to break up with hope that's the only reason i i was talking to you don't read don't have ideas <laughs> I wear glasses and you are right to not trust us. I mean, I wear glasses too. <laughs> it's gonna be, oop, that was my bra. Um, it's gonna be weird, like, when I get, like, an actual VTuber model and everything. Cause they need to read my face. And I heard that it's really hard to read, like, the faces with people who have glasses. Classic advice from a royal. <laughs> I should definitely get that quote. I should definitely put that as a quote. Don't read, don't have ideas love it i'm gonna do that later it's getting added um hmm that's such a sweet thing to say it's true though i mean literally all humans may are made of the same components you get in stars fan art coming incoming Ooh, what for real for real you sure the eyes go a little crazy sometimes do they when you get there i have tips to help with the vtube studio Okay, thank you, Ak. I will definitely, I will definitely keep that in mind. Thank you. Inspired by your quote, for real, for real. I can't wait to see what you come up with, Song. You're an amazing artist. For a second, I felt special. I felt special. I wish I was special. You are special. Oh, thanks. Noah nibbles at his thumb. Not him nibbling himself. You know... I wonder what things would have been like if I, if we ended up together. The fan art? Yeah, 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 of course. I understood what you meant, the fan art. Noah thinks about us together. Stop it. But we're not, I do too. Really? I don't. Should I be a bitch? <laughs> should I crush this man's dream or should I just lead him on a little bit? Would you have preferred it if it said Noah, n Noah nibbles your thumb? I think I would have preferred it if Noah didn't nibble anything. I think he should keep his nibbling to a minimum. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be a complete bitch. But we're not. I'm with Gary. You're with Hope. Remember? Yeah. I mean, I really care about Hope. There's so many things that I like about her. But. But maybe I should have been more like a satellite and gone around. You definitely should have. You definitely should have. Well, why didn't you? Noah looks thoughtful and looks up at the sky. I'm not really like that. I like a girl and I'm all in. Same. <laughs> Same. But then again, there's never been anyone else around I've wanted to get to know. Ooh. Noah sounds like he's having doubts. Do you wish you'd been with more people? I thought you guys were strong. It's a bit late now, Noah. It's a bit late now. I'm with Gary. Guess you're right, princess. The show will be over soon. But that doesn't mean we stop feeling things. Maybe it's because I've it's nearly the end and I've started thinking about the future. Anyway. You and Gary seem pretty strong. Oh, we're absolutely the strongest power couple here. We are definitely winning Love Island. The whole girlfriend and boyfriend thing. As strong as any Love Island couple are, we're stronger than that. He laughs and looks back up at the sky. I've been hoping to get some time, just the two of us. You know, so I'm not really a big fan of groups. I'm not a fan of big groups. I misread that. But you guys can read. I'm, I'm sure you guys can read. I know you're not literate. I mean, I know you're not illiterate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm illiterate. <laughs> I love when I get to open up the library first thing in the morning and it's so quiet. Just me and that old book smell. Is that weird? Nah, I used to love the library. I'm, I miss the library. I still have a library card. And I still read books sometimes from the library with my library card. But I use an app to like read the books because I don't like going places. <laughs> I 
Discord, the Discord in question. Uh, yes, the Discord in question. Yes, thank you, Song. <laughs> I owe these in multiple states. I mean, I probably owe these too because I definitely stole a book from a library when I was younger. And then I think I gave it away when I turned 18 or something because it was just, it was a children's book that I didn't even really like. So I'm sorry for stealing from the library. So I don't get to enjoy the library anymore. I mean, you could make up a new name, fake it. They don't need to know. They don't need to know the truth. The library is for everybody, even criminals. I do my best thinking when I'm totally alone. Do you? A lot of people do their best thinking in the shower. I do my best thinking when I'm high off a of fever. That's when I do my best thinking. But that never happens here. I'm not saying I want to be alone right now. Just the opposite, in fact. He glances around as if to be sure no one else is around. Princess, I... He looks at you nervously and rubs his bottom lip. What do I say when he's looking at me like this? Ask him what's going on, tell him you fancy him, just kiss him? What should we do? What do you guys think we should do? I do my best thinking at like midnight to 5am for art and writing anyway. I mean, honestly, when do I do my best thinking? I don't. <laughs> Is that sad to say that I don't? I don't think. Like, I do think. I overthink everything, but I don't have enough time in my overthinking to actually think about something productive, so I don't think. I'm trying my hardest to not think, and I end up thinking, and it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. You too, Lele? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. I'm going through therapy. Actually, I just spoke to my new psychiatrist. And she's so fucking nice. She's so pretty. And she's so smart. Like, I'm in love with her. <laughs> like, I'm not in love with her, but, like, I'm in love with her. It feels so good to have a psychiatrist that's just not forcing meds down your throat. And, like, she actually listens to me. Our session wasn't that long, but I... I definitely felt like she cared <laughs> I really did feel like she cared about what I had to say so like I haven't had a psychiatrist ever do that for me except for one time and that was when I was actually in a residential treatment center and I couldn't afford that lady outside of that she's like super expensive and no one was gonna pay for her as my psychiatrist so that was like the only time I ever felt like anyone really listened to me that was prescribing me medication but yeah i have my new psychiatrist my new psychiatrist and i i love her she's great i can't wait to work with her some more i'm in therapy we're working on my ptsd right now and it's not fun um i'm not sure what i want to do i'm really not sure what i want to do I'm glad you like your new th no, psychiatrist. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ask him what's going on. I said I was going to diss this man. I don't want to lead him on anymore. We're for Gary. Whatever you want to say, just tell me. What are you... What are we doing alone together again like this? Noah gives a long look. He's clearly pained. I know this has been confusing for you. I'm sorry. I need to do the right thing. Just need to figure out how. If I were back at the library, I could look it up. Could you? Do they have books on this situation? Dating in reality TV shows? I guess that's not very funny. Oh, you were joking. It did not come off like that. I mean, I definitely didn't read it like that. So that's probably why it didn't come off like that. Okay, we're just done. I just left. I was like, see ya. Everyone's in the bedroom. It's quieter than usual as you walk in slightly ahead of Noah. There you are. Hey, Gary. Hi. You give Noah a sideways glance. <laughs> he smiles back at you. Ooh, no, don't do that. Don't do that, I don't need that. Keep that. Here I am. Huh, princess. You look the same as yesterday, or was it the day before? The fuck you mean, Gary? I was in a different pajama set yesterday. 
I can't remember. Stop. Stop it. I should listen to Gary. Listen to him about what? There's literally nothing to listen to him about. Except for maybe, like, schematics. Spending out is, is important on Love Island. Is it? Because Gary dresses like a lumberjack, and that's not even his profession. Everyone starts to ruffle the covers and cuddle up against each other, except for Lottie, who sits upright in her bed. You alright, huh? You look like you've seen a ghost, Lottie. I mean, she looked in the mirror, so... She did. <laughs> I'm joking, that's so mean. <laughs> you were right, Hope. About what you said earlier. What did she say earlier? I mean, I usually am. Hey, that's my line, Hope. Gary rolls his eyes. It's so quiet in here. Yeah, for real. Shut up, Henry. Hannah leans over, leans over Henrik towards Lottie and gives her a hug. That's hilarious. That's kind of hilarious. She's just leaning over her man to give her best friend a hug. He needed some comforting too. Oh, hun, it must be really hard for you. Obviously, I had my little break in the middle, but you've been in here since the beginning. We've all been here since the beginning, actually. Except for Henrik and Chelsea. Where the fuck is Lucas? We have not seen him once this entire episode. Lottie looks up towards the ceiling. Yeah, it's just so weird. If she's a ghost, then I was gonna, then I guess call me Ghostbuster. Stop this. Stop this act. I thought Lucas was gone. No, Lucas came back. I thought you knew. He's with Chelsea. He's coupled up with Chelsea. Princess, you're one of the originals too. I am. How are you feeling? Like, we need to go to sleep? Like, we can discuss this tomorrow? I know, but he hasn't appeared at all. Yeah! And you missed an episode? Oh yeah, okay, so Ibrahim and Joe left. They're gone. But, uh, Marisol and Grim are gone too. How do I feel about there being fewer people? Love it. Love it. Great, means more chances of winning. I miss everyone already. I'm gonna be a bitch. Whoa, princess. Do you ever stop thinking about tactics? No. I'm in this to win it. You realize Gary's giving you the side eye? <laughs> Gary, you know I'm like this. You already know I'm like this. We already, dis dis we already discussed this. That was a little insensitive. Then tell them to stop asking me questions when I don't want to answer them. They don't want me to answer them the way I want to answer them. Gary nestles his head into you. I love being close like this. Would you like to get closer and we've already we've already had sex, Gary. You already know the answer to this question. You know, get frisky. No pressure, obviously. Am I into it? In the room with everyone else? Am I into it doing it in the room with everyone else? You know the answer to this is sure, let's do it. Time for another blanket fort? Yeah, time for another blanket fort. You read my mind. You lie on your sides, facing each other. Gary pulls a duvet over your head, his arms swinging like a crane. The fuck? The corners of his eyes crinkle, showing the grin that you know is echoed on his face, but can't actually see as you are too close. Beep, beep, beep. What are we doing? What is, what the fuck is happening? Gary gives you a quizzical look. Say, Gary, I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening. I do not know what's happening. Bow chicka bow wow. What, exactly, exactly. He's confused, I'm confused, you're confused. We're all confused. Isn't that the sound a crane makes? Ha, <laughs> that's more of a lorry backing up instead of a sort of sound. Cranes are the silent partners of construction, are they? You bring his face to yours, kissing him intently. This would have been a cute moment, alone, but imagine, imagine me just making beeping noises in a room full of people. And we're supposed to be like quietly having sex. <laughs> oh my god, that would make me such a Freak. <laughs> I would never do that though. I would never do that. Wow, what sexy talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like now, Gary. Now. 
You bring his face to yours, kissing him intently. Mm. You hook your arm and leg over Gary's side, pulling him close to you. You stroke the back of his head with your hand, kissing him more deeply. Mm. Gary's hand slides up your leg. Hopefully I shaved. Or maybe I didn't. Or maybe he likes hairy legs. I would love it if he did, because sometimes I do not feel like shaving. You lose any idea of how much time goes by. A girl could get used to that. Get used to what? Get used to what? Making... Making... Beeping noises? In a room full of people when you're trying to have sex quietly? Gary grins at you. You can feel the contentment radiating from him matching your own. Compliment him quick. Ask him a question. I have a question, Gary. Do you ever think about what kind of job you would do if you weren't a crane operator? That wasn't my question, but go off. I also can't think of many things I'd rather do. Except for making you happy. Well, that's not really a job. That's not occupation. I can't pay you for that. I mean, maybe... I guess technically you are getting paid for that because we are on Love Island and we are going to win. You rest your head on his chest, listen to his heartbeat. Lottie makes a loud bird call. Whoa, what's going on over there? Let's all settle down now. Everything goes quiet. Gosh, with fewer people here, it sure is easier to get you lots to be quiet. Shut up, Hope. A soft thump is heard. Hey, who threw that pillow? Laughter can be heard from under some sheets. <laughs> Damn, wish it was me. Wish I threw that at her. All right, good night, you lot. Yeah, night everyone. What a day, hey. Dates were had, couples were made official, and Gareth, Lola, and Big Daddy finally got the screen time they deserve. I wonder if Big Daddy ever got to do bits. Great question. And if Gareth ever spoke about how he felt with Becky. We'll probably never know. What I do know is that next time on Love Island, it's prom night. Thank you for lurking, not lurking, chatting, not chatting, showing up and you know, just being here or leaving afterwards. That's okay. That's okay. That doesn't hurt my feelings. I still love you. Um, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, rest of your week, rest of your month, rest of your year, and the rest of your life. And I hope to see you next stream. Bye!